So, Jason Bourne stars Matt Damon, and the plot of Jason Bourne is Bourne is now on the run yet again, thanks to Julia Stiles' character in this movie. And this time, not only is he on the run from, of course, more CIA operatives in this movie, but he also wants to learn the truth about his father, pretty much. And with, with that, I won't say very much, because I don't want to spoil much. This movie was good, but it was a lit down at the same time. You come off three top movies, okay? Three of my favorite movies, even the fourth one. I'm possibly the only one that liked the fourth movie. With this, though, it's a good movie. I'm going to say that again. But the meat and potatoes was not right on this. It was meaty enough, but the potatoes were cold and lumpy. Uh, okay, I'm going to say what I didn't like about it. It drags for a little bit. Some of the scenes go on way too long. And it's kind of boring in places. Not everywhere, but in the places. And it almost put me to sleep. For the first time ever, a boring movie almost put me to sleep. What the fuck? Acting in this movie is top notch. Matt Damon comes back and kills it as Jason Bourne. Julia Stiles is great in her character for the time she's given in this movie. She's in this movie as well. She's from um, Ex Machina, the robot chick from that movie. And of course, Tommy Lee Jones' presence is always a joy to watch on screen. He can do anything and he'll steal the show anyways. The action in this movie is pretty good from where, when the action actually happens. So yeah, Shaky Cam is back to the max, which is Greengrass's staple. His direction is nice. Everything about this movie is solid. Only thing is what I just mentioned. The problems in this movie were the pacing and the lack of of the meat and potatoes that the first three movies have. If you watch the first three movies and you know the first three movies, you know it has that well, nice balance into it. This one kind of slacked off a little bit. I don't know what happened during the writing process. It's like they were going out of good flow, but somebody slowed down like a snail and wrote a lot of boring ass dialogue to go with this movie just to make some of the scenes a little bit longer which they really did not need to be to tell you the truth but <clears throat> I'm not going to let that weigh the movie down too much it's still an entertaining movie it's still an enjoyable movie I am proud to call this a part of the Bourne franchise but yeah this is definitely the weakest entry in the Bourne franchise Ironically enough, it's slight, ah, uh, because I even like Legacy more than I did this movie. So, yeah, this is definitely a weaker entry in the franchise, but, yeah. All in all, though, Jason Bourne was a good time, not a great time. I will give Jason Bourne a B-, minus, mainly because it's Jason Bourne. It should have been a great movie. Not a good movie. Not a mediocre movie. It should have been a great movie. And it's kind of a sad way to, to keep the franchise going. But I do love the sequel bait. That was kind of funny. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about Jason Bourne down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it?